You got people like Chris Hemsworth and Thor. You have Hugh Jackman and Wolverine, Chris Pratt, Kumail Nanjiani, Zac Efron. Uh, I mean, these guys are doing something different to their diets, correct? Correct, yeah. And All right, everyone. Today, we are going to uncover the hidden deep secrets of the movie star world and the fitness industry. Now, on the one hand, there's this fitness advice, this health advice that the mainstream is following. All the guys are following this on the TV, on internet, and that is one side of the picture. On the other hand, there's the fitness advice that works, and that is what the movie stars are following to get into tip-top shape in record time. Now, what are they doing? What works and what doesn't work and how the mainstream advice is hurting men. We're going to cover all of that today in the podcast. Now, we're not just going to be uncovering what works and what doesn't work. We're also going to talk about exactly what steps to take to get that lean shredded body, to get that six pack, to lose fat, to gain muscle and to get that dream body that you've always wanted. So let's get started in the podcast. I want to welcome our special guest today, Andre Bettinson, and as his clients call him, Coach Andre. Today, we're going to uncover all those deep hidden secrets of the movie star world. Are you ready, Coach? Of course, man. Uh, thank you for having me on the podcast. First of all, I'm super excited to be here and can't wait to get going. You got it, man. Now, we've had so many requests for you from our tribe. We have 10,000 men in our Facebook group, and all of them have been wanting you on this podcast for so long. So I'm so happy that you're finally here. Now, I already have tons of questions. As, as you know, we're doing this live, and we already have tons of questions from our tribe. So I'm looking at this here. Uh, but, but before we get into all that, before we get into the Q&A and so on, I want to introduce you to those who don't know who you are. So Coach Andre is one of those people that has already transformed himself. He doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the talk. So he used to be a chubby guy and now he has this amazing body. He has also already coached hundreds of men to transform their health and fitness. And what I mean by that is he's also improving the health, not just the look, not just the body. And right now he is leading a tribe of 10,000 men to get those same results. And I mean, there's 20,000 accolades here, but you're also a model and you're the lead singer in a heavy metal band. That's, the, that's quite the combo here, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Yeah, um, I mean, I feel super grateful to be in the position that I'm in. Truly, one of my biggest passions is helping people get results and get those little secrets to yield them the biggest results as soon as possible. So it's super awesome working with a lot of the awesome guys in the Facebook group. I get to talk about all the scientific stuff that I geek out on all day. And uh, once again, I'm super grateful just to be here. So thanks again for having me. Uh, you're welcome, coach. And we're gonna geek out a little bit for sure on this podcast. And as you know, I'm a scientist and I love this stuff. And we're still gonna try to keep it you know, very well understood by everyone who's watching. Now, I wanna just uh, tell you that we have a bunch of guys here live and just to do some housekeeping, I'm already seeing a bunch of stuff in the, Q and, uh, in the question box, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that later, okay? We're gonna get to the Q&A a little bit later. Um, and for those of you who are watching this recording, you're also going to have a chance to uh, ask your questions. Now, tell me what is going on with you right now. It's been a while since we spoke. What's up, man? Yeah, um, so overall, I'm doing pretty amazing. It's finally summer in Utah. So truly just living it up, living my best life, getting all the sun possible while I can for summer and uh, chilling out at the hot tub. They finally opened that at my apartment complex here. So super excited about that. And uh, also, I actually had started dating again. So relationship Whoa, ended, but no way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, living it up overall, truly, it's, it's actually been kind of a blessing, very freeing. And uh -huh. uh, things are going well in all of those uh, bases. I see. Because I remember last time we spoke, you said you've had you had a girlfriend and, and you've had the girlfriend for a while, correct? Yeah. So um, dating overall, it's, it's not as bad. Um, of course, coming out of like a six year relationship, you'd think some guys may have some hangups, but truly it's been a lot easier dating than last time. And uh, I think, of course, my personal journey 
definitely made that a lot easier to uh, yield results and actually have people interested in wanting to meet me and attracting people. So, I mean, yeah, that's definitely different overall, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get into it because I just saw like 20 questions being asked about this dating stuff because I, I know a lot of our guys love uh, the, you know, how to get dates and become more attractive and so on and so forth. So that's great. We're going to get into it soon. But, but to kick things off, let's get into the, the more juicy stuff. I, I remember uh, the trailer for this podcast. You mentioned some very controversial things that will make people angry or, or, or uh, stir up some controversy. So you're saying that there's two pieces of advice in the world. On the one hand, it's the mainstream advice. Everyone listens to it and it is hurting men. And that's why 99% of men get, can't get those movie star bodies, that movie star physique. Then on the other hand, it's what the movie stars are following. It's the, the dark hidden advice. One works really well. The movie stars get these crazy transformations in record time. But the other one, which is the mainstream, is hurting men. And you've discovered what that movie star advice is and you've applied it to yourself. I mean, this is quite the controversy because most guys are following the, the, the bad advice. So if I'm saying something wrong, let me know, because this is uh, quite the revolution. Uh, <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, you said everything exactly 100% correct. That's exactly what I'm saying. There's people that are following one thing that uh, they think the mainstream advice will work for them. And then there's people following advice that's not necessarily the right way to approach things. And they see that with movie stars, like you said. So that's exactly what I'm saying. Very interesting. Now, you're going to piss off a lot of people here because you're not just saying they're, they're different, but you're saying that the mainstream advice is the complete opposite of what works right and um so honestly i'm so sick of all the mainstream bs like everyone else like all of these different fake health experts and bro science youtubers sharing the wrong info or sharing sharing the same info that people have heard over and over and people just spin their wheels hurts a lot of guys and it's truly a huge waste of time i fell for it way before uh with clever marketing i can mention some names but i probably won't hear uh, you guys have all seen it as well but I'm here to give the truth and speak about what directly will help guys get the results that they need. That's it. So if we're going to upset a few fake health experts, then that's just what we got to do. Wow, man, I, I'm super excited. So this is getting quite juicy. You're saying that the transformation that you've done from a chubby kid to a male model is basically following what the movie stars follow and you're gonna tell us all of this today on the podcast? Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, I've fallen into the traps as well, so it's not like I knew exactly what to do straight away, but through challenging the advice that everyone gives out, I was able to carve a path and find a way, and that's what we'll be covering. So you can ask me anything you want, total open book. Okay, and we, like I said, we have a lot of questions coming up, but, but just as a quick reminder, type your questions in the chat box, for those of you who don't know, and we'll be answering as many of them at the end as we can. There's going to be a Q&A. And for those of you who are watching this record, which this recording, not live, but uh, a recording later, uh, you'll be able to also see those questions answered at the end. Now, now let's talk about these two. One piece of advice is helping men that are movie stars. You know, they follow their, their experts and, and their nutritional advice. The other thing is hurting men, which is 99% of men follow this and it's hurting them. So, like, is it really hurting them that much? Like, because our viewers who are watching this podcast are probably following this bad advice. Right. And it, there is terrible advice for sure. And if it's not hurting them, then it's simply just wasting their time and not getting them the results at the end of the day. Okay, got it. So now let's get into what the hell these movie stars are doing. So let's break this down. Some, some of you have probably seen the transformations with your own eyes, right? The movie stars out there that are transforming in record time, literally in months, they transform their health and their body for these blockbuster movies. And I, I have a list of these actors here. My God, you got, you got people like Chris Hemsworth and Thor. You have Hugh Jackman and Wolverine, Chris Pratt, Kumail Nanjiani, Zac Efron. Uh, I mean, these guys are doing something different to their diets, correct? Correct. Yeah. And I want to actually go through that a little bit just so the people can take a look and see what, uh, what the transformations look like, because you may or may not know these actors. 
let's uh let's pull up Chris Hemsworth for example share my screen here type it up Chris Hemsworth transformation just click Google images here so as you guys can see there's a pretty dramatic change especially from when he went all the way to playing Thor uh, I think everyone kind of knows and recognizes him in Thor and he's just made insane gains overall for sure he's gotten much leaner and much more cut uh, let's Google up Chris Pratt, I believe you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Man, Hemsworth looks mean, though. <laughs> yeah, he's he definitely put on some size. He, he looks more manly, for sure, uh, as you can tell. Um, oh, geez. Okay, so Chris Pratt here, he, was, he did Guardians of the Galaxy. He went from kind of a, a chubby dude that looks just like your average American that likes to eat ice cream dad and hot dogs. Dad bod. I see yeah, that dad, dad bod, bod. exactly. <laughs> And now he's cut. He's got abs. He's got some pretty decent shoulders. And overall, not bad at all. Uh, that's quite a great transformation. I think anyone would be happy to look like that. He still doesn't have those Andre abs, though. No, no. We could <laughs> get him there, but <laughs> it's going to take the right kind of advice, for sure. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, man. Like, uh, I, I would love to see some more transformation, uh, like, movie star, because I know there's so many... But, but just, just to ask you something, when you see The Rock, Superman, Wolverine, these guys, are they just like following keto or vegan uh, or, you know, carnivore, some shit like that? What? No. Um, I, well, I mean, they are following a lot of these fad diets and they will say that for sure too. And I mean, it's hard to believe, but some of them, I believe the guy that played Wolverine, he was talking about how he did keto even uh, Zac Efron was talking about how he was doing keto. And it seems like they always pick these because they're trendy at the time. Hmm. But they're kind of holding some things back. <laughs> mm. I mean, hard to believe though, right? Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, man. So wait, I'm curious. If they're not following these diets, then what is it? Like, what, what's going on here, really? Right. And this is the thing I believe everyone kind of knows in the back of their head. They... They talk about the chicken and broccoli. That's everything that they eat to get their progress. And at this point, it's kind of a meme. Like everyone knows what they really are talking about. And for example, I'm going to bring up a couple more guys. So I let would me love search to see up. more. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I get amazed when I see these <laughs> transformations. Like, wow. Because I've seen yeah. these people in the movies already. Right. Yeah. I mean, they look amazing. Like Zac Efron, I just pulled up here for us. Zac oh, wow. Efron. He went from looking like a teenage boy, which I'm sure he probably was, all the way up to looking freaking jacked, like hmm. huge shoulders, abs really cut. And uh, let's look one more person. We'll look up Kumail Nanjiani. And I believe these guys, they specifically show a lot of what is going on in their transformation because... Not only does Kumail, he looked just like a standard nerdy guy. Uh, of course, I believe he was, he was in some type of nerdy movie. And then all of a sudden, he just looks super jacked, super manly, super masculine. Even dating Megan Fox, apparently, it looks like. Really? Okay. So, I mean, that's, that's definitely a plus. But um, let's get into a little bit of the negative side effects. And I'll use both Zac Efron and Kumail Nanjiani here as uh -huh. examples. So here, let's look at Zac Efron's face because when this came up everyone like the internet lost their mind Zac Efron we know he has that mm. kind of boyish look but he looks really manly uh, great facial just bone structure and you see this after picture here where his face looks just completely bloated Whoa! and he, he looks completely different everyone thought he was on uh, many different plastic surgery Whoa. types of I haven't uh, I didn't even see that man. wow yeah, huh. uh, yeah, I saw it. It came up and was pretty compelling. Um, so next, let's look up Kumail Nanjiani with his face once again. I think and Kumail Kumail was in that uh, Silicon Valley show. I think. Yeah, I think that's kind uh, of where he, he started. The nerd stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these transformations kind of prove that it's not so natural. Oh, so, really? That's because that was the next question I was going to ask you. Uh, yeah. Because we always wonder that the movie stars, they never mention natural or not. Or even if they're asked, they just say, oh, yeah, of course it's natural. So is it natural? 
<laughs> no, and a lot of <laughs> the, the a lot of what you can tell in their face, which is why I'm pulling up their faces specifically, is it shows things like growth hormone usage. So oh. everyone knows your ears continue to grow throughout your entire life cycle. Same with your mm. nose. Uh, mm. If you see older people, then their ears and noses are generally larger because those never stop growing. But especially when you take things like growth hormone, and ah. that's certainly what a lot of these people are doing in the least there's there's so many things we could speculate and look at which causes issues um let me pull up the uh what's called a palumboism and this is this was mentioned on joe rogan's podcast and what it ultimately is is someone with a super bloated belly and this is what a lot of people see these days in bodybuilding Ouch. so their organs their internal organs are growing so much that they just look bloated even though they're what, 5% body fat? It's not a good look. Joe Rogan, we know he has actually admitted to taking growth hormone specifically right. and directly. And T That's... TRT as well, I remember. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. he's still doing that, obviously, yeah. Yeah, not the best pinnacle of health either, and it doesn't look all that aesthetic. I mean, look at this. The Joe Rogan before he had his growth hormone bubble gut, he looks really good. And huh. that, I don't know how long ago that was, but the before and after there, like before the arrow, mm. he looks like a really built, solid dude. Yeah. And it's like, why'd you go so far <laughs> into just looking like a, a bloated mess somewhat? So it's not very aesthetic. There's a uh, Vin Diesel, I know. He looks borderline mm. pregnant. Fast and Furious, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the Fast and the Furious guy. Um, I don't know if it's what it was. We could speculate this could be growth hormone too because he looks very bloated i mean that's for sure so yeah there's there's so many different things even trend balone there's um there's guys that get cystic acne ouch and trend balone is one of these other things that they're using pretty consistently and a lot of young people which is even more frightening are starting to use it and a lot of them develop this cystic acne that looks just like scabs all over their chest their back wow. everywhere and this is very extreme hormonal acne because these compounds have this effect on so many people. And hmm. that's certainly not aesthetic in the least. Uh, Even these, these, these are young guys. Oh yeah, yeah. This, this is the oh. issue with uh, trends specifically is it's kind of been glorified to all of these TikTok viewers as, okay. as something that's viable. And it's probably one of the worst compounds to start um, overall, um, it's, it's just sacrificing, especially at such a young age, your entire future, because you think you can't get there alone. And I mean, that's what my whole thing is all about. We'll get into it um, a little bit soon, but I want to show you one of the biggest kind of stars for this aesthetic movement when it okay. comes to lifting. So this, his name is Ziz. Some people pronounce it Ziz. He overall really redefined what it looks like to be a bodybuilder hmm. in the way looks, that's uh, getting young. away from. Yeah, so he was really young for a while and um, overall he probably went through puberty and was able to gain some mass, but he was also really one of those guys that brought proportions back, looking aesthetic and not having that bloated belly look like a lot of the bodybuilders do nowadays. So he kind of brought, <laughs> I guess, like bodybuilding sexiness back. So having things in good proportion but not too extreme being lean enough that's truly what a lot of people will be able to achieve naturally but because of z's use he actually ended up passing away early and i believe he passed away before he even hit 30. i can't for quite real. recall but yeah he he gave up his life for synthetic compounds when so a lot of this can be achieved naturally wow so he like had a heart attack i, I know some some of them have heart attacks or I believe it was something, let me see. Some heart issue, yeah. Yeah, and that's one of the other things with growth hormone even, is your mm. heart can hypertrophy um, almost wow. anything. Anything growth is a hormone, huge risk. Because growth hormone is, is making everything large. Right, yeah, mm. their, their heart will hypertrophy as well as everything else, unfortunately. So all of these things come with huge risks and can put you in harm's way mm. if you're not accounting for things naturally or just blasting things into oblivion. You will pay those dividends at some point huh. and you will reap what you sell. So 
Coach, let me ask you this. You just showed us that by taking anabolic steroids, and growth hormone, TRT, synthetic hormones, we can transform our bodies, no doubt. So Absolutely. why don't we just uh, why don't we just do that? Like, well, so one for me, I do not advocate the use of anabolic steroids or performance enhancing drugs whatsoever. The, what these actors and what these people we just observed, what they're mm. doing is actually extremely dangerous to their body. Yet all these people are getting paid millions of dollars to get in shape super quick, spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to get the best doctors to oh. hopefully make sure they don't die, but. Everything that you don't see is actually doing damage to their body because we're only seeing a small snapshot in time from what is actually going on. And of course, we saw Zac Efron's bloated face, same with Kumail. These things happen after the video and the uh, scenes have been shot. And this is their body kind of rebounding and getting back at them for all of the poison they put in their veins. Hmm. Yeah, I so, saw. Yeah, you're right. Even Kumail's face, I remember, it looked kind of. He's becoming ugly, <laughs> like very bloated, ugly face, and he, right. and, 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 and he basically looks older. Even right, they just make you look old from the <laughs> face, huh? Exactly. Yeah, and they take these compounds like HGH, which people think is anti-aging, but in the way that they're taking HGH, it's hmm. completely not anti-aging. They look older than they would before. It's it's kind of sad because that's how they market it too when they want to inject you with things like that. So, Coach, I'm curious about one thing. So these actors are already successful. I mean, they're in Hollywood, they're getting movies and TV shows and the fitness guys like Z's and, and other, they're successful, right? They, they have uh, mm -hmm. millions of YouTube followers and Instagram followers, but they still do this. And they're so secretive about it. Like they already have the following, they already have the money. So why are they so secretive? Well, it's, I think they're trying to protect their image, right? It's, they're secretive about uh. it because they want that edge because they have all these yes men behind them telling them, oh, this is the way to do it. Because a lot of people just don't know a lot of the ways that we can implement and change our hormones and change our lifestyle, change our diet. There's not a lot of benefit or research put into helping someone do things like this naturally because if they can just sell you something that you can inject, then that's pretty scalable and they'll ultimately be able to get that way and reap the benefits. But that's only for, of course, a short period of time and things will end up screwing up in some fashion and need more doctor intervention, which I don't know if that's part of their plan. They, of course, they'll pay even more money and they got money. So it's, it's just another one of those kind of funnels to spend more money just to stay above water at that point because you're drowning yourself in all of these fake synthetic steroid injections. So it. it's hard. You can't really blame the actors completely for covering these things up. But again, it's just not a healthy option at all. It's extremely dangerous. So I do not condone this type of intervention whatsoever. Yeah, the performance enhancing drugs, the steroids, the anabolics, definitely a big no-no. I also, uh, I'm 100% with you, man. We have to be 100% natural. Now, let, let's now address the elephant in the room. You told us throughout this podcast that it is possible to get a transformation like the movie stars without the side effects, without affecting our health, without dying and having heart attacks and getting a bloated face and pimples all over our bodies and so on and so forth, or getting uh, organs uh, growth all over. So you did something to get the movie star physique in record time without any synthetics. You did it 100% naturally. What did you do? <laughs> Yeah, man. So, I mean, I'm glad you brought this up, of course, because this is exactly right here where 95% of guys mess up. And so all of you guys watching the podcast, please listen super carefully to what I'm about to say right now. If you watch this and get nothing else, you will be in a better position than 95% of guys who follow the mainstream advice and get zero results. So first off, you're 100% right. And I did not take any anabolic steroids or performance enhancing drugs or anything like that. A lot of people will speculate and say that I actually am, and it's just laughable 
how much they're underestimating it's themselves. A compliment. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a compliment for sure. So I was able to get these results just like these famous movie stars in a lot of cases, sometimes even better results because I'm able to hold on, maintain, and keep these gains, keep staying this lean, this muscular. So let me repeat this again. Guys should not be taking any anabolic steroids, PEDs, which are performance enhancing drugs, at all. The risks are not worth it. Two, they don't need to. You can do exactly what I did and get the same results. And three, of course, it's much healthier. You can keep the gains all year round. It's very uh, sustainable. And the reason for that is because it's natural. Plain and uh, simple. Wow, man. So you're saying that, because I know that these movie stars, they only have the physique two weeks out of the year, or maybe uh, two months out of the year for shooting a movie. And I also read that when they have these shirtless scenes, they don't eat for like three days or they, they, they water fast uh, or no, a dry fast for like a, a couple of days and don't, they don't even drink water. So they're like angry and frustrated and hungry during these scenes. And what you're saying is we can get that physique without going through that, the suffering, without going through the trouble, get it easily in record time. It sounds too good to be true, man. I mean, <laughs> no. Are you, and, and you're going to tell us how exactly to do this in this podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'll break it down for you. Honestly, it's not too good to be true. It, I mean, it does take work and it takes the know-how and it takes the discipline to stick to it. But when you actually follow the science, understand the male endocrine system, it's actually very, very easy to get the results. As long as you take some action or able to put the time in, have that discipline. So let me break it down real quick. The underlying thing that goes into all of these things that all these famous actors are doing, the movie stars, even the bodybuilders, of course, they and their transformations that we just Googled before, what they're doing at the core level is optimizing their key male hormones, which are their androgens. That's what it's called is your male hormone. It's called an androgen hormone. So what these actors are doing using harmful drugs like artificial steroids, synthetic testosterone, like we mentioned, to increase things like their testosterone levels, their HGH, human growth hormone levels, DHT, and reducing things like SHBG, estrogen, cortisol. Those things, when you are messing with them on an injection pharmacological level, is very dangerous, it's very expensive, and how extreme they are because you're using fake synthetic hormones, they mm. cause major damage to your body in the long term. But Holy the shit. way I did it, was the same thing, this is the same thing I do to help my coaching clients. It's the same thing, but doing it 100% naturally. So wow. they're correct in looking at hormones as analogs to produce these results. But all it takes to do it naturally is simple tweaks in what you eat, how you eat, the quality of your food, how you train, the quality of your training, and giving your body the ability to recover from training. This is really simple stuff. And when you do this, your body is able to do exactly what you need to lose the body fat, build the muscle. And when you're doing it naturally, your health actually gets better and you feel amazing because your body has done it naturally. You get to keep those gains, keep those results long term because you've integrated them into your life and in, in your lifestyle. So because of all this, you're able to look great all year round. Hmm. I'll tell you something, coach. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, we have our live, live listeners right now, and I got about 100 questions when you said the word androgen. Uh, man, I guess, I guess they've, they've heard of it, or, or maybe they haven't heard of it. But regardless, let's break this down piece by piece. You mentioned that our male hormones, androgens, are key to all this. So what is this androgen? Please uh, help us figure this out. Yeah, so like I said, the androgen hormones are male hormones that biologically affect and kind of define men. So we know that men and women are different. Biologically, we can agree that our bodies and our biology is different. Yes, we, we know this is the truth. I mean, I'm not a biologist, but saying this, I still am highly attuned to biology. You know, we, we studied this all in school. We remember women's bodies produce hormones through expression of their genetics. They go through cycles that are highly regulated. And this is thought to be a big reason why women have things like si higher sex hormone binding globulin than men to actually do regulate they. their hormones. So they require more hmm. of that to do regulation at a bigger scale. Hmm. And women, we know that they rely on estrogen to help them through their cycles. So 
they're more estrogen dominant than a man would be, ideally. So for reasons like this, we know that women tend to hold on to more body fat differently than men because of these hormonal differences. This is all shown in the science and medical journals, peer reviewed papers I've gone through personally, uh, nothing truly groundbreaking here. So because of hormones like testosterone, hmm. which can be optimized naturally for men, we need to have high testosterone because especially compared to women, it's all about testosterone dominance. I'm not saying crush your estrogen levels, but what I am saying is that testosterone needs to be at the forefront of these four men. So everyone that's doing these diets like keto, vegan, carnivore, low carb, they're basically a watered down approach for men and women. They're not taking hormones into account here. So to support individual hormone pathways, their diets must vary in some fashion. So women, mm. even when they're in a prenatal phase, you know, going through pregnancy, carrying a baby to term, their nutrient levels and vitamins like folate, they need that. That's crucial to the development of the baby and having healthy outcomes for the baby. So mm. why do we think any different when it comes to males' diets and producing things like quality sperm and testosterone? And I mean, I know this is c controversial in today's age because some people find out when they go through the fad diets. But ultimately, a man's endocrine system and a man's biology is very different. And to be healthy, optimize fat burning, building muscle, we need to first look at what are the key male hormones, the male androgens, those other diets do not account for and take into consideration at all and find out how to optimize them. So truly, mm. if you're doing any of those diets, basically every guy has at that point been set up to fail from the start. And it's not that they know they're doing something wrong. I didn't know when I was mm. going through all these different diets, experimenting to find out what would work for me. What they've been told is wrong. So from such a basic level of understanding, and really these diets only manipulate macronutrients. It completely sucks. I went through it. I tried so many of those diets for years and years, suffering, not getting any results that I wanted. I went through the confusion and pain of trying so hard, but getting no results. And I hear the same clients as well before they started with me. They tell me how they try all these diets, carnivore, keto, extended fasting even, and all mm. of these weird fad things that come up and it wasn't working for them at the end of the day. So I know mm. that that is a huge pain for people and getting the results is ultimately what we want. So we can't come at it from such a basic mindset. And you truly need to have a little bit of a grasp on biology, realize it's not just macros and calories like so many people will say. So it's not your fault. You're just following the basic low quality advice, unfortunately. Right, so you're talking about the mainstream advice, which, we, which I discussed at the very beginning. So coach, you talked about testosterone, estrogen, and, and, and other hormones, SHBG you mentioned. So I'll tell you a little bit about my journey so far. Okay, I mean, you just shattered a ton of myths for us, so, so thank you. And I've also, just through experience and trial and error, been able to shatter some myths just from my own experience. So I remember when I started you know, 10 years ago on my health journey, I was doing different fad diets. You know, I tried the keto and the vegan, vegan for a year, keto for six months, and so on, low carb, no carb, even carnivore I tried. And none of these diets ever mentioned hormones, right? It, it was... Um, I mean, it was all about ma macronutrients, just, you know, counting calories, calories in, ca calories in, calories out. Micronutrients weren't really mentioned. Hormone were never mentioned and definitely not the word androgen. So one, one key thing I took from what you said is testosterone, right? And I remember when I first started, I focused on testosterone and nothing else. It was like boosting testosterone, boosting testosterone. And I got results. It was good. But then... When I myself learned about, hey, testosterone can convert into estrogen, or SHBG can stop a a testosterone's effectiveness. And then I started studying SHBG and estrogen and cortisol and serotonin and started optimizing those hormones too, as much as I could, you know, whatever knowledge I had in the day. And I got better and better results. So you are right. I mean, from my own experience, I 100% believe in this. But I'm going to still play a little devil's advocate here. You mentioned testosterone. Testosterone is, is, you know, maybe the key hormone for men. Everyone talks about it. Testosterone is all over the news and all over social media. So why not just take a test booster? I'm going to do a shameless plug here. Why not just take Afro-D, 
boost testosterone, and, and you take Aphrodite, you know this, and then call it a day. Why not? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we both connected through Afro-D because I found Afro-D as well. And one of the reasons why I like Afro-D as a testosterone booster and why I actually do frequently recommend it to people is it doesn't leave anything on the table. It doesn't just yeah. optimize testosterone, which is the one, one of the key androgens. So boosting testosterone and using it in the gym to build muscle, speed up your metabolism, help you burn fat faster. These are all great things. But aside from just testosterone and the many other pathways like cortisol, like estrogen, and getting proper sleep quality, those bases are covered. But there's also better results that you can also get that should be taken into account and taken into consideration. Things like HGH, your human growth hormone, production through quality sleep, we know, cortisol being normalized, helping us man up to the challenges of the day. And those are the big difference. But beyond just Afro-D and boosting those androgens, I found other natural compounds. These are vitamins, minerals, and lifestyle practices to help allow us to expand this type of framework onto other hormones and get those other benefits because it's all an entire system, very vast. And to get those benefits, we have to look at it from a holistic level. So other hormones that I'm talking about are things like serotonin, which gives us a feeling of satisfaction with life feeling abundant, having that abundant mindset. That's serotonin. Dopamine, also very important for giving us the drive to pursue life, accomplish our goals, and set out to do what we wanna do. Things, of course, like HGH, insulin, and even thyroid hormones for fat loss, speeding up your metabolism, these all come into play. Estrogen, as we mentioned, for proper sexual function and mental stability when normalized. We don't want it crushed down or it's lowered. Into wow, oblivion. so est estrogen is also important for sexual function. Interesting. Absolutely, and muscle gain, actually. Huh. So you don't want to crush estrogen either. You just want it in a balanced, optimized range. Because hmm. guys usually just say, oh, lower estrogen as much as possible, but you're, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Huh. It's, it's just part of the extra advice that a lot of people will tell you that's not serving anyone. So is, is, it, is it, Coach, is it true that estrogen is needed just to get it up? <laughs> Completely, yeah. Um, yeah. Th that's a big part of sexual function. That's why I mentioned it like that. But yeah, erections, if you're crushing your estrogen, not only are mm. you going to just feel more instable and really overall just not secure within yourself as a man, then you're not going to be able to get it up or even have proper muscle gains. Uh, estrogen plays into all these different parts. And there's probably even more uh, that we perhaps don't know until the research comes out. But yeah, other hormones, uh, Cortisol, for example, for proper mental balance, recovery, and mood, general affect throughout the day. Prolactin is one that's interesting as well. This cuts through the laziness. Um, a lot of people wake up and just don't want to do anything, and this a lot comes into play with prolactin. Um, so when you normalize your prolactin or have it on your radar as a potential issue, then you're able to actually pursue your life goals and feel fulfilled while doing it. Uh, it's a big hmm. obstacle for many people these days. Nitric oxide, of course, bringing optimized blood flow for nutrients and even hormone signaling across the areas of your body that these signals and hormones need to be sent to. That's why I talk about nitric oxide and of course even oxytocin, which is that stress relief, actually being able to feel love from those that we attract. So looking at things like this on a more wow. deep level, our hormone system is truly holistic. Um, the focus is much more meaningful and fulfilling than just burning body fat, gaining muscle, looking great. What happens once you get that body and don't have the mental stability or confidence within yourself, then this is why efficacy is so important and not just about injecting a needle into your butt. So <laughs> the androgen focused life is what is truly thriving and what living our best life brings to us. Does that make sense? It does. So you're, you're basically saying that it's not just testosterone, but there's like ton of other hormones that you had to optimize in your own life. That's what the movie stars are doing. They're doing it synthetically. You did it naturally. And now you know how to do it. And now you're showing that to your clients and, and the whole world. It's very interesting, coach. You, you explain things so clearly. And you are so knowledgeable about the science and the mechanisms of hormones and men's health. And I'm a PhD in neuroscience here. And, and you know more than me. And you, you can explain things even better than I can. So I'm curious here because you didn't study, uh, you didn't get a PhD, you didn't go, and like, get, you know, go into grad school and spend 10 years. You, 
you're you're doing this from pain, your your own pain of, of how you looked and how you felt and your mental health and so on. So take us back a few years. How are you able to learn all of this stuff? How are you able to gain this knowledge and transform your body? Give us like who is Andre and what is his life till today? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me pull up uh, some of my photos here. So this is this is me um, and part of my background. So you can see I look <laughs> very depressed. Um, I started off really as a shy kid overall. It was a lot of my mental background that made me shy, of course. So this made me actually withhold who I was socially to people. I had some micro traumas as most people do. I was kind of an outcast as far back as I can remember and as daycare being a toddler. And as I grew up, I really wanted to express myself. Hmm. And ultimately I delved straight, ended up becoming uh, overweight, drinking, even beer on the weekends with a few friends trying to be more social. And I thought that helped my expression and really eating just a ton of crappy food because it's kind of lumped in with all that lifestyle. So way too much Taco Bell. I ended up gaining a lot of weight, being unhealthy for the first time in my life because up until that point, I really was pretty athletic. I liked skateboarding, paintball, basketball, all of these types of things. So I was relatively active up until that point. So for the first time, I saw my blood markers at my job. We would get our biometric screenings done and I saw problems developing with things such as my blood glucose, uh, pre-diabetic, pre-hypertension, cholesterol numbers were wow. not very good. And uh, those are just basic things. They're, those aren't even the hormones. So really seeing things go from a normal range up to the worrisome range, thinking, oh, well, that, that should be fine. Uh, these, these things just come up. It's just part of aging is what I was kind of told and was telling myself. So those things were affecting me mentally. And they were, of course, going in the wrong direction of health, especially being as young as I was at the time. So when these things were affecting me mentally and I was realizing that I did not have the drive to continue to wake up every morning, day after day and hit my job with all the intent and love that I kind of started with, I was just aimless in, in my pursuits and uh, I was in a dark place is, is where I was headed. So through this, I instantly look towards things like testosterone because we hear about it so much on the radio, TV, everywhere. So I was able to also see and catch a glimpse as I was not functioning as a man should back then. Um, I kind of just stumbled into it and was like, okay, testosterone is one of those things that I should look out for because I always thought that I maybe had some low testosterone for how shy I was. So hormones in addition, like insulin, which is another androgen, of course, uh, we talked about a little bit. These things were my first go at optimizing hormones, testosterone and insulin. And specifically to get that confidence I was missing, uh, mentally to get that ability to express myself and have a presence in the room, which I never had basically throughout my entire life. And another deep tipping point for me was uh, actually seeing my mother suffer uh, mentally and physically. Her health was deteriorating after her fifth year of being vegan and this is a picture of her uh, and, I, and myself. But um, overall, her gut health, her gut issues that developed over time were causing severe, le severe lethargy. So really not feeling like she has much energy for any reason after eating. Um, constant migraines, digestive issues for her, and wow. lymph fluid like irregularities and blockages. Um, I really saw how these diets can affect people if they're the wrong thing for them. Hmm. So mentally, she was drained and had no energy. She would get extremely paranoid, which was just crazy because I had never seen her in that state before. Absolutely scary. And in my mind, I knew it's, it's because you're doing this extreme diet that's not serving you, obviously. Wow. So she was really not able to rationalize even reality of the situation with her diet. It took a long time and I planted some seeds over <laughs> the progress of all her many diseases and ailments and truly was just scared. So I just wanted my mom back. It was very scary. Um, she was always in like a high cortisol survival mode because of the vegan diet. And uh, that's absolutely part of my transformation. Seeing those who suffer, um, even aside from my mom, from their lifestyle, dietary choices, and even myself seeing that, feeling that suffering and uh, seeing who I was in the past, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, but when I went back to college, I was able to find out and started studying these things. 
like psychology, biology, exercise physiology, and nutrition classes, of course. This was my preoccupation and kind of obsession from, uh, from that point on and still now. So it has set my life trajectory because I found it so interesting how things like this can impact our body, our choices. And of course, it started with the mind actually that allowed both my body and mind to grow from there. My God. Wow, Andre. So you're saying that, I mean, you mentioned insulin and testosterone. That's, that's very interesting. I, I know I've read about those and I, I'm sure we'll get more into that later, but the measurement aspect, right? The, because measurement leads to mechanism. You, you sort of, you measured your levels, you know, you mentioned cholesterol and, 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 and the, the, you probably measured uh, glucose, yeah, glucose levels. And, yep. So measuring that gave you this, wow, hey, I'm young and I'm on a path to disaster in my life, obesity and heart problems and so on. And, yep. and, and obviously the mental health issues. And then through that measurement, those blood tests came in, you know, thank God. You, you had those done, your work had that done. And that led to you actually going back and studying all this in detail with the biology classes and psychology and figuring out all the mechanisms. So one thing that's clear to me, and this is from my own life, is that when we, when we understand the why of something, when we understand the how of something, it's not just some mental masturbation like, oh, I'm a geek and I know stuff and I'm cool. It's, it's that it keeps you going. It sustains you so you don't give up when you encounter obstacles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's exactly right. And this is really how I approach things with my clients too. That's, that's who I am, exactly like you said. Personally, I love to know the why things work. And because of that, I look deeper from that point, that surface level that a lot of people just stay in. They just wanna know what works. I like to know why. And I like to relay to that to my clients as well. Uh, I make sure they know why, uh, why they should do something, why I'm telling them to do this instead of that. I want them to know why, because knowing your why is a big mental thing to ensure that you stick to it. Um, so instead of just, hey, do this, and give them a free version for like non-commercial, tell them why, and it will reinforce that behavior so they're able to actually get the results that they want. Hmm. So these, so I'm curious actually to know the results that you have, because I, I saw what you look like and, and I want to know, like, how did this transformation happen? What, give me some idea of what, how dramatic was your transformation? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So let me pull up my self transformation here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here is a photo of myself on the left. This is one of my chubby photos. Uh, chubby Blondre is what we oh, really? um, <laughs> refer to myself as, you know, the blonde hair. So I struggled with my weight and mm. confidence a lot. Um, and I was able to change that transforming my body. And of course, my mind. The, a lot of people, you can't see the mental change, but it does manifest with the body transformation. So that's one. Uh, this was on the right there. I was taking a, a nice selfie in the green room for my music video shoot with wow. my band. Um, you know, looking good uh, overall, doing some push-ups to get pumped up. <laughs> uh, this nice. one, this actually is, of course, me flexing in the mirror. So you can see my growth. And this is a good couple years into lifting overall. But you can see the big shoulder development, the biceps, um, the forearms, everything, the V taper in my back. Just the mm. progress is huge and massive once I was able to normalize my hormones and optimize those key androgens. Um, this one... Uh, the classic uh, little selfie where I was actually with my band and just fooling around. I put my hair or I put my shirt back behind my head and I uh, was just being an, an idiot. But I was like flexing in that. Like I, me as a fat kid still thought I kind of had abs. So even then on the left, I was flexing my abs, but I'm just so fat. Uh, I'm wearing my blue booty shorts. So this is me holding my book on the right here, of course, and uh, just a night and day difference. Um, overall. So, so that's a good before and after uh, this next one. This was really soon into lifting after losing some fat and uh, overall just getting that huge muscle impact and uh, getting just putting a lot more lean mass, but also losing fat. Your body's 
much more hormonally able to give up fat once you've put on muscle. And it's just so much mm. easier to, to do all that. So it's another hormonal kind of uh, effect once you're able to follow the, the lifestyle and uh, eat the right way. Uh, next one here. Here's a, one of my classic modeling picks. Uh, the leather jacket, of course. Hmm. Uh, you know, spiked up hair, the black background, black and white. Um, Rockstar. That one I like. Yeah, I'm actually doing a photo shoot um, this Saturday, so I'm excited for that. Um, here's the last one I'll show you guys. But this is uh, just a good abs pick. Um, mm. Back behind that blue metal background with the Andre white abs there. Sleeve. Yeah, the Andre <laughs> abs angle. It's classic <laughs> pose now. <laughs> But yeah, so overall, these this was my transformation from just a chubby fat kid, insanely to uh, to become like a fitness model type look, and uh, a lot of the photographers love working with me. So I hmm. uh, must be doing something right. <laughs> I got to be honest with you, man. I've seen tons of transformation, and yours beats them all. What a crazy transformation you had, you know, from being overweight and chubby to being a model and, and doing modeling shoots. What a what a crazy crazy life journey so far now so here's the thing right you got the look you got the mental health you got the confidence and you have the health to go along with it your your internal health is great with that how did life change for you yeah uh, great question i mean um, as i'm of course dating now and getting out of my relationship talking with girls has been just a lot different, I would say. So that's, that's a good thing. Things are much easier to kind of be approachable to women, I feel, but also they are more willing to approach me um, a lot of times. So that's a big plus if, you know, if dating is part of your goals. But, um, you know, the abs definitely help quite a, a bit. People will deem you as less creepy, which, uh, which I know <laughs> is one of those things. Like a lot of girls say they don't mind being hit on if it's an attractive guy. So unfortunately, that's just a reality. Um, but overall, when you're mentally aligned and hormonally aligned and optimized, you just feel more confident overall. And that's, of course, another thing that women always talk about. They're just like, oh, well, it's, it's all about confidence. You know, it's how you, how you hold yourself or whatever and being confident um, in that regard that, that kind of puts them at ease and aren't creeped out. So when you optimize your androgens naturally, of course, then your entire body absolutely improves your health, your mental well-being. Um, internal health improves a lot as well. My blood markers, my cholesterol is amazing now. For example, mm. my blood glucose. I mean, of course, those are the basic ones, but above all, my hormones, my key androgens are great. I have the most energy I've ever had in my entire life. Huge sex drive, uh, more focus, uh, greater vitality. So this is important for a lot of the older clients as well. Mm. Um, Mike Sager, which I hope I'm hope I'm okay to say your first and last name, Mike, but he's over 70 years old and still has the energy levels like he is in his 30s and 40s. Um, his testosterone is through the roof for his hmm. age group. And uh, for all the clients out there that are dads, they have energy to keep up with their kids after work and, hmm. of, of course, keep up with the missus, keep her satisfied. And uh, that's, that's all you can ask for in life, man, overall. Wow. Okay. That's super interesting. So one, one, actually, I want to ask you this right now because a lot of guys are asking this question and it's kind of, it, it's kind of on the other side of what you've said, right? You, you, you're, you're going for that, you and your clients, the, the whole tribe that you're, that you're leading, everyone's going for that movie star physique, right? That shredded look that women want, that go crazy for, they come to you, you're no longer a creep. It's fantastic. But what about those guys, and, and, and I have some of these guys here, who won the, the Ronnie Coleman, Arnold, uh, Dorian Yates, bodybuilder, huge, massive look. What about them? Yeah, so <laughs> um, what I teach is not for like bodybuilder type guys. Um, I mean, hey, if, if that's your look and that's your goal, then good luck to you, I wish you the best. The truth is, one, a lot of girls don't find that body attractive. They think it's too much, and two, like, a lot of those guys have insane muscle genetics and that's kind of not what's going to happen for 99.9% .9 of people. So that training and lifestyle is serious and even dangerous. You're, you're sacrificing your body and your mind quite literally. Uh, so many guys dying with, you know, anabolic steroid usage and PEDs, um, not to mention all the different injuries. If that's your goal, 
that's one thing, but this is not what the androgen diet is about. So I can't help you there. Got it. And, and thanks for that honesty, man. Some people think like, oh, I can help the whole world. But what you're saying is you can accept the guys who want to become huge. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, man, like that Ronnie Coleman look, right? From the girls I've talked to, the girls I've dated, um, the research I've done, like for example, David Buss, like Dr. David Buss. Uh, he's an evolutionary psychologist, and I'm sure you've, you've read him and know him. I've even met him once in, in L.A. like 10 years ago. I met him at a conference. And his theory is that women want that movie star physique, right? That shredded, lean, six-pack, Andre abs look. Now, why is that, right? So if you break it down, think of our evolution uh, until now, right? When we were cavemen, we didn't have uh, a sofa to sit on and a bed and... And, and, and like being on the beach and, and drinking cocktails, right? We were being chased by animals. We had to hunt, kill animals. We had to run. We had to not die, basically. We had to survive 24 seven. And even a little bit of slowness, a little bit of uh, uh, being content could get you killed. Now imagine a Ronnie Coleman or a Dorian Yates or an Arnold at that time he would be eating so much, he would be slow, right? He won't be able to run fast, may get tired easily, and organs might need, I mean, as you take these hormones, you're gonna have side effects, you're probably gonna have mental issues. And the tribe has to deal with that. So those guys would have been weeded out right away. They, would have, they wouldn't have even gotten there. It would, if you had the motivation to become someone like that, you would have not survived. And girls are hardwired through evolution to not want that look. And they want the, the, the lean, shredded movie star body. So I'm totally with you, and it's super backed by science as well, especially evolutionary psychology. Girl want the, girls want the Andre apps, not those giant blocks. Now, yeah, go ahead. You were saying something. Oh, no. No, I mean, I totally agree with, with that. That's, that's what we mentioned. Um, a lot of we know evolutionarily the guys that were able to run away. That was like the big humans thing is you're able to run away, use mm. your opposable thumbs, of course, uh, to create tools, but just get out of there. Uh, that's, that's, you know, if you're super muscular, you're just a big target, so. Yeah, there's more, there's more of you to hunt then if you're, if you're massive. Now, uh, let's, I'm also, I also wanna know a little bit more about your life because uh, this, is, this is an epic story and I wanna dig deeper. So go back in time. You, well, you were obese and overweight, pre-diabetic. Now you've done the transformation, right? Go back to that day and you feel good. You're like, wow, I achieved my results. And, and, and now I've like achieved the holy grail because I did it naturally. And you're super proud. What happened like the day after that? Like what were those days like? Go back in time and, and tell me. Yeah. Um, so when I started transforming, of course, uh, this was a very slow process. It wasn't like overnight, um, even mentally. I wasn't feeling like I was that person, um, even after I had kind of the body that followed. For example, like at concerts, uh, like metal show concerts, whatever, people were approaching me li uh, like just at the live show saying, hey, can you lift me up so I can crowd surf? And I'm like, wait, you're talking to me? Like literally just t pointing at me, like poking me on the shoulder and saying, hey, can you lift me up so I can crowd surf? Um, I just didn't see myself as the dude with muscle like that. Uh, there, was, there was like mental shifts that kind of followed after that because I just didn't see myself that way. So kind of little events like that helped reinforce it. Like, oh, people are actually seeing me different. And um, so that helped reinforce like, hey, you actually are looking pretty impressive. But uh, truly the early days, I was sharing my journey on social media, like Facebook, Instagram, and people were asking me like, hey, what are you doing to, to get this type of body? And a lot of people on social media were just contacting me, like sending me DMs and asking, what the heck are you doing, dude? Uh, because they saw my pictures from before where I was pretty fat and chubby taking pictures with my band and stuff like the band photo shoots mm. So eventually I just started sharing my knowledge with people giving them tips what I was doing because uh, I of course love the, to nerd out on these things and see how it implements for them and later um, I would see these people approach me sometimes at the gym or just in daily life and they're like dude I lost 50 pounds because of what you told me to do and uh all these people just started getting results and kind of word of mouth a little bit, but also just, I felt like I was able to have a good impact on people. So I started 
giving more advice out to people. So soon enough, people just assumed I was a fitness coach and uh, thought that I was charging people. And I'm like, wow, um, I mean, someone finally realizes I could charge for this, but um, I was just helping people for, for the fun of it and still working my full-time job. So after that, that's when I created kind of a full lifestyle and workout plan. And I had a few clients actually that were following along getting stellar results with that program. And really just more and more people kept asking me and organically I was able to quit my job from there and I love doing this stuff. I love seeing the change in people. And just as I felt with myself, I was able to get that same reward in someone else's results. So quit my day job, progressed into this full time so I could just focus 100% on helping men. Of course, coming out with the book, uh, that, that's pretty much where we are today. So, Coach, congratulations. Uh, first of all, this is great, man. And I can clearly see, I mean, just from, just from seeing you and, and talking to you that your new diet and your, your book and, and your training has clearly worked for you. But I'm sure a lot of the guys watching are curious, and so am I. Has this training and diet and, and, and what you teach in your book, has this also worked for your clients? Absolutely. I mean, uh, great question. I think the results are everything. Uh, a lot of these health and fitness coaches that never ever talk about their client success, which should be one of the more important things. Um, so, I mean, well, rather than just me talking about it, um, I want to just be 100% transparent and actually share this with you guys. So you'll be able to see a lot of the peak transformations. Let me share my screen here. And here is a few of the dudes with huge transformations. So here is Shane. He lost over 100 pounds of fat. And as you can see from the photo on the right, he is lean and shredded Holy from being obese. Holy shit. That's being the same thin. guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he <laughs> shaved his beard, which is, yeah. is a dead giveaway. But, um, but of course, like look, from his legs, his calves, all the way up to his shoulders and his just shredded arms and abs, he completely transformed his life and how people see him. I, I know him personally, he has an issue with drinking uh, alcohol and the mm. mindset shifts that you have to go through to get that as well needs the help of optimizing your androgens because those also translate to things like mental health, discipline, everything. So let's move mm. on here from Shane. This is Mike Sager, the, the guy I, I talked ah, about. Ah, you mentioned earlier. him, yeah, 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 you mentioned him. The old, older guy, yeah. Yeah, so he's crushing it at 70 years old and uh, at the top 1% of testosterone for his age group. And he's one of the most positive guys I've probably ever talked to. His outlook on life and just getting up every morning is just gratitude incarnate. Hmm. He's super grateful for everything that's going on in his life. So his mental health is amazing. He's thriving. He's living his best life. So that's, that's Mike for you. That's beautiful. Yeah, here's uh, Stanislav. Stanislav, he's, he's one of the guys that may resonate with a lot of the younger audience because he went from kind of skinny like people calling him skinny all the time at school and uh, just out in public life to being a ripped jack dude Jesus and Christ. Uh, you know people people are like oh you're you're like a nerdy guy that wears glasses and stuff and it's like well on that after picture he's like fucking Clark Kent um, like Superman uh, ripped abs veins popping still wearing those glasses uh, looking amazing so that's Stanislav uh, next this is Jean He's actually up in Canada, and he speaks French, I think, primarily. But um, he posted just, this is a three months transformation. So the top four photos, that's him basically day one, what we started with. He's still pretty lean. He's kind of one of those skinnier guys that people would say, you know, doesn't have a lot of mass, not impressive, just like a bean pole. And uh, down to the bottom, this is three months in, he's getting insane muscle development. The veins are popping. Six pack, um, even posture is much more strong. Like just how you assert yourself physically is much stronger. He's getting jacked and that's just three months in. So from Jean, let's go to Cornell. So Cornell is a great example of these guys that go through what I call like a second puberty. So on the left there, you see him, he looks just like a boy, like maybe yeah. a 12 year old boy. But on the right, you see someone with like just a fierce, stare he looks very masculine chin and uh, bone structure is just on point and of course he has insane chest and shoulder development his abs are on point he looks like a completely different person so as you can tell i know he gets quite a few girls as well uh, <laughs> a lot of attention from the ladies 
And uh, I believe a lot of that is because he doesn't look like a 12-year-old boy anymore. So, so that's Cornell. Uh, this is Rudy, uh, next one. So this, I think he's mm. at the zoo or something on the left. Just mm -hmm. a normal photo. You can see his obvious belly there. Um, Rudy is one of the guys that I like because his hunger for knowledge is something that I liken to myself a lot. I ask so many questions and uh, the ability to ask questions is a great type of tool, a mm. jumping off point to get the learning and understand the why behind things. So I like Rudy a lot. He's a cool dude and uh, always has questions. Uh, so, so love him for that. But he got rid of his belly and is turning it into a six pack. His chest development is great, his shoulders. And Rudy's one of those guys that has a can-do attitude because especially during the pandemic, he was not able to go to a gym. So he did this from home body workouts as well as, of course, eating a good diet. But he did this all from the comfort of his home, quite literally. So that's Rudy. Next, uh, this guy goes by the name of VTech Gen. He's uh, pretty, pretty awesome. As you can see on the left there, he went from being obese, uh, I would assume very high prolactin levels, and on the right, he just looks like a beast. Like, he looks like the guy at the gym that you'd probably be intimidated by if you walked in and he, he wasn't like smiling at you. Uh, so his transformation's huge, got rid of his belly, turned it into muscle, and he just looks like a freaking boss now. So next, um, this one is one of my good first clients ever. Uh, his name is James. This is a back photo of him actually in Santa Monica on the left, very depressed and also struggled with a lot of substance abuse. And over mm -hmm. the, the period of time that I've worked with him, we got him off all that BS and put him on a natural lifestyle to where he's able to be fulfilled and feel amazing just living normal life and thriving in that way. So he lost over 50 pounds of fat, put on an insane amount of muscle, I would assume about 35 pounds of muscle in wow. the year of working alongside me he kind of went through like a reverse quarantine uh, throughout the pandemic. So, um, so wow. he was fat before the pandemic hit and then when the pandemic actually hit, he got jacked and ripped. So this is a more in-depth photo of him. You can see him on the front too, from just the kind of, I mean, I'm not gonna hold it back, James, but you had some saggy boobies there, uh, some man boobs. And now he's got pecs, abs, uh, serratus anterior ab cuts and uh, he just looks like an insane beast now. Um, and I, I work with him some, semi-frequently now, most Tuesdays. So um, James is an amazing dude and his progress is absolutely insane as well. But uh, that's just a few of them. I, don't, I know we don't have too much time, so I'll cut it off there. But, uh, but those are a lot of the guys that I helped and the results that you get when you focus on your androgens. This is insane, man. Uh, but by the way, when you mentioned Rudy, uh, he's here. He, he's, he's asking a ton of questions. <laughs> oh, I was like, he asked like five questions uh, and he also says hello to you. Um, What's up, Rudy? <laughs> so, so um, yeah, so now let's get into the, the real meat here. So you, you did an amazing transformation. Your clients have done amazing. Uh, you know, get those hormones optimized, get the shredded look and record time, just like the movie stars. So, and, and doing it all naturally. So what is the secret? What can someone who's watching, who wants this exact transformation that you had, your clients have had, what can they do? Absolutely. So the best way to catch a glimpse into this entire system is the androgen diet. This is the book that I spent over a year putting wow. into the five to six years of learnings that I did. That's you on the cover, huh? Yeah, that's, that's actually me. That's my that's shoulder, awesome. my pecs, my abs. Can I see the back? Can I see the back? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is the back. That's me as well, of course. Pretty cool, man. So, so there you Congrats. go. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is all my best stuff in one book. And a lot of people send messages. They're like, what? Like, how can I do this? And I'm, I'm like, first thing, you just have to get the book and go through it, study it, learn it. And you will get results by implementing what's exactly in the book because it, it covers so many things on such a wide level that... There's, you, you, even if you only implement about 5% of it, then you will get insane results. It's really that simple and that impactful. So all these guys that can't afford something like one-on-one -on -one coaching with me can still get amazing results by following the blueprint laid out in the book. Hmm. So, so tell me a, a bit more about this book. So a, anyone can read it. It's easily, like it's accessible to everyone. Um, is there an audio book available by any chance? Because I'd love to, to listen. 
Yeah, so there's a digital version which you can access right away. And uh, one, of, one of the things I like about the ebook is you can press Control F and find mm. whatever topics you want, um, even after you've already gone through the book. So I do that relatively frequently to go back up and see, okay, what should this person be doing? Mm. And uh, yeah, so there's a di an ebook. And when you buy your copy, you can also get the audiobook version. Okay. And what will happen, of course, once you make your purchase, we will send you an email with a login to the membership area. And mm. that's when you can download your copy of the book, the ebook, um, whatever you want to get. It's, it's all in that members area. And there will be more things that pop up more and more, more value bonus books as well. So, uh, so yeah, wow. absolutely. It's all in the members area once we send you the email uh, for your own mm. access. Okay, so it's quite simple. Now, what about, because I know for me personally and a lot of the guys watching, a book is great, you know, reading the book and getting that knowledge and inspiration, but I would love to be able to get coached by you. So if someone wants to get coached by you personally, get that extra mentorship and support, how, is that possible? Are you, are, you, are you doing that? Yeah, so um, for the guys that want the extra support and direct contact with me, I have the Androgen Accelerator Program. And what this does is it actually opens up everything. It makes it simple, digestible uh, little pieces for your learning and integrating everything that you want into your life. Uh, we know it's not just about reading a book or the content or listening to an audiobook, And truly, it's all about applying it. So if you don't have or if you need that hand holding to make sure everything is 100% dialed in, then you're really that's when you get the most results is when you have that person to show you step by step um, mm. at every point, every kind of speed bump you encounter. So what will come with this androgen accelerator is a 12 week course. So you'll get the support, the mentoring from me, which will help speed up your results. And I mean, I'm talking like 10 times faster results because I'm guiding you every step of the way, weekly calls, all of the content through the 12 week course and uh, any questions you have, of course, you'll be able to join in on the weekly calls, whatever works for your schedule and come live as we are essentially now asking those mm. questions face to face. You can get up on the cam with me and uh, just guide me through any of the obstacles you have. We'll go through your blood work and anything like wow. that. It's it's just a full format to help the guys transform as soon as possible. Wow, and, and, and I'm glad you mentioned the, the blood stuff because that's crucial. I, I know that worked for me, I had to do that first. Um, coach, I know a lot of courses that I've taken in the past, uh, the, the, the main coach uh, is not really there. It's like one of his people, one of his like assistants or uh, whatever, uh, lackeys. Is this by you? Are you there to answer the questions personally? Yeah, uh, th that's 100% me. I will be there. There will be no substitutions. I'm there to help you 100% of the way. Okay. Um, all right. So you mentioned uh, something about the Androgen Diet book coming with the bonuses. Um, I'm reading some questions here. Wow. We, we're going to get, guys, we're going to get into the Q&A very fast, but my God. Um, there's like a, literally a 500 questions here, man. Um, okay, so, so now let's talk about uh, price, right? Everyone's wondering about the price. I saw a bunch of this when you mentioned the Androgen Accelerator, um, you know, being coached directly by you with the bonuses. Uh, how much does it cost? Yeah, so the prices are on the website. Um, I wanted to truly have something to offer to you guys specifically for that uh, everyone that's joining this call and is live with us now. So all of you guys watching will get 50% off of the purchase price. And I'm just extending that offer to all of you guys because I know you're attuned to hormones in the way uh, that Doc Farhan has been preaching for quite a while. So I know that you guys will get insane results for it. And for that, I wanna make it easier and sweeten the deal for you. So you get 50% off all through this special link just for this, the viewers right now. Wow, uh, man, thank you for looking out for the tribe. This is great, 50% off, it's insane. So, so basically there's a special link. Um, I'm reading some questions that people are asking. Um, so, wait, so the 50% off is for everything? Yes, yes, everything at checkout. Um, I will get that link and I will post it in the chat. Sec, copy. All right, paste. All right, so that will be in the chat. I just posted it and uh, that's your link. That's your key to getting half off of whatever you check out with on my site. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I, I know the guys, uh, okay, yeah, so now they're, they got it, they're, they're clicking and stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, so the, for these guys, it's okay. You know, they're, they're gonna be able to access it. Um, they, again, to recap, 50% off of everything. 
Uh, they get the Android Accelerator for 50% off, the books for 50% off, the audiobook, everything. But for those people who are watching this as a recording, I'm talking to you guys now, uh, I'm going to make sure that it's available for you guys as well. There's, I'm going to tell, tell our tech guys, maybe put a button or something, it, it should appear. Uh, click on that button to take you to that page so you can get that special price. It's exactly the link that, that Coach Andre said. Just press the button, you get 50% off. Uh, I'm reading some more questions here. Um, Okay, so yeah, I guess we got to get into the Q&A. Again, th thank you for uh, giving us 50% off. This is so epic. Uh, all you guys who have been watching live, this is your chance. You have the 50% off. For those of you who are watching the recording, click that button and take full advantage. Um, so now, now let's get into the Q&A. I mean, we have 500 questions here. Maybe we can ask, I don't know, maybe 10 or so. Is that okay? We have a, a little bit of time with you, man? Yeah, I mean, we're a little bit over, but, uh, but I'm here for you guys. So we'll get it, okay. we'll get it going. <laughs> all right, buddy, let's go. Um, I'm going to just uh, go in order, first come, first serve. Okay. Will this help me lose weight, especially get rid of my belly fat? Yeah, uh, totally. I mean, that's, that's really easy, uh, basic. <laughs> but yeah, the key focus of the androgen diet is to help men lose fat as easily as possible. And mm. this is, of course, one of the main effects. Your body is willing to give up body fat when your androgens are normalized, optimized, um, covering things like metabolism, thyroid, cortisol, testosterone, even human growth hormone naturally produced, all of these things come into play when it comes to losing belly fat, 100%. Got it. Um, th this is another guy, he, he's, uh, he, he says hello to you, he's, he's in your Facebook group. Um, I know you, you, told, you mentioned that you have 10,000 men in this Facebook group that you're leading all the time and, and answering questions, so he says hello. <laughs> um, so the, the question, his name is Peter, by the way, <laughs> is, uh, uh, he says you know him. So uh, the question is, uh, this is Peter's question, how does the androgen diet differ from other diets? Yeah, great question. Um, so, I mean, first thing, I tried a lot of different diets before and they never worked for me. Um, I mean, will this work for you? Absolutely, and the reason why that is, is because this is focused on one, male biology, what is optimal for a male, and ultimately how to optimize your male hormones based on scientific research, not some bro science, cutting out fats or carbs. Uh, this is looking at a man's current blood work and assessing what will make an impact in their physiology and what goals they want. So mm. this overall is a way more holistic approach than any diets out there that just say, well, don't eat meat or don't eat carbs. Uh, it's, it's much more laser focused in on what's gonna make an impact for you and what are your proximal obstacles that should be overcome through lifestyle, diet, or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Um, you covered the next question you covered already, but maybe a little specific. Uh, will I get extra support from Coach Andre? Oh, yeah. Uh, so if you get the book, there's also, of course, access to the members Facebook group. And even if you get the accelerator, that's the perfect place for you because you'll be able to get the live coaching calls with me and mm -hmm. uh, full support every step of the way, whatever questions you have, whatever your blood work looks like, all of that. Wow, so you also analyze the blood, blood work and give a report, wow. Yes, yes. Wow, that, that's very, very, very good. Uh, is there a money back guarantee if, uh, if uh, someone's not happy with it? Yeah, so there's actually a full lifetime, a lifetime money back guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, then you can just message support at androgendiet.com and you will get your money back. Uh, this way you'll actually be able to go through the material, try it out, apply it, and if you are not getting any results, you're not happy at all, then all you do is let us know you want a refund and you will get all your money back. But really, there's no risk in trying. Uh, we made it super able for you to purchase and access the content and really apply it. And I know that these things will be impactful you, for you if you follow the suggestions, get things like your blood work done and assess what your lifestyle looks like and how it can be better. It will make an impact for you and that's why I offer the lifetime money back guarantee. Wow. You, you mentioned access, you know, it's accessible for everyone. The next question is, do I have to know the science stuff for this to work for me? I know you and I love the science stuff and we're, we geek out, but most people don't really care much. They just want results. Yeah, um, I, I mean, we do love the science and a lot of my clients that do get amazing results also enjoy entertaining the science a little bit at least. So. With the book, you'll be able to get all the cited research papers if you wanted to go that far. But mm. I know a lot of people are busy. They just want to know what works. So I made it super easy in that regard as well. 
So if you're short on time, really just go through, eat the foods that I recommend, check out the meal plans, um, check out what times you should perhaps be eating depending on what hormones should be normalized. Do your workouts. There's five at-home workouts, five in-gym workout routines that you can apply. And uh, of course, all the research, all the testing has already been done by me and my clients that we just started a little bit ago. Sorry, my dog is freaking out. Um, so all you have to do is just follow what's on there. There's no guesswork. Everything's been done for you. Got it. Um, yeah, uh, take care of that dog there. <laughs> he's, he's getting excited just like us here in, the, in, yeah. the, in this uh, podcast. Her, her cortisol is a little high right now because she hasn't gone potty in a little bit. Uh, but. <laughs> that's why. We're not going to keep you much longer, man. I, you know, okay. apologi ap apologize for keeping you. There's just so many questions, so much demand. Um, next question is about safety. I know we mentioned uh, or you, you mentioned earlier with all the movie stars that do dangerous uh, diets and and have heart attacks and die, and we don't want all of that. So how safe is the androgen diet? Yeah, um, it's 100% safe, as I talked about earlier. And the reason why that is, is it's because in, it's, it covers natural solutions. We're talking about eating healthy foods and even balance across many different macronutrients instead of playing with one or the other to get a desired outcome for a short period of time and then not having the benefits long-term. This is very holistic-based it's doing the most effective things in your diet and lifestyle. And of course, there are supplements in there to help make sure that your vitamins and minerals are on point. Um, but overall, this is 100% safe, effective, and doing blood work is one of the best ways to start looking at your health in a very empirical way. Um, mm. So absolutely, safety is top priority. Right, and you're giving proof. So you're giving safety and you're giving evidence that it worked and you're giving them the look. Unbelievable. Now. For the skeptics out there, you know, a lot of guys, they, they're like, oh, it's worked for other people, but uh, will it work for me, right? They're like me, like they think they're unique or they're some sort of, uh, 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 sort of like a victim, like, oh, it doesn't work for me. So the question is, will this work for me? Has this diet worked for other guys? Yeah. So, I mean, of course it worked for me. You saw my transformation worked for heaps of my clients as well. Um, the feedback that we've gotten from guys in places like the Facebook group has also been amazing. They're all loving it. They're getting great results from it. It's sustainable and easy and enjoyable to follow. So a lot of people enjoy implementing this lifestyle and diet. So the best thing is to truly just try it yourself. Start following the steps, see how you feel. And of course, at the end, if it's not ideal for you, then you have that money back guarantee. Got it. What about uh, gym? Like, is, do I have to be a gym rat? The a guy asked um, just now. Do I have to spend hours at the gym? Like, No, um, like 100% no. There's a, there's a lot of people that will still get amazing results. And what a lot of people don't understand is to get muscle, you have to have that recovery aspect. So that mm. means not being a gym rat and going in six times a week. Unless you like that, then we can mm. adjust things accordingly. But having that recovery will mean as a natural lifter, then mm. you will be able to go a minimum of like two to three days a week in the gym, get a good grueling workout you feel amazing after, mm. and you'll be able to have a sustainable workout routine, but also get the muscle gains, have mm. that diet uh, on point. All of these things are structured in a way where you can still have a lifestyle that's devoted to being a father, or of course your demanding job at work if, you're, if you work for a corporation or something. So mm. all of these things, uh, people have busy lives as well. This will produce the most maximum results for you in the most minimal amount of time. Got it. That's great. Wow. Um, the next question is, and you covered this, but maybe a little bit more specific, go into it. What is the difference between the book and the course? Yeah. The, so the book is a, a great starting point. The course is more geared towards things that I've learned even after, but mm. also the course takes things a little bit slower and in a way that's more implementable. So mm. in this way, you're able to ask the questions to me and get an answer on if that's going to be impactful for you. So the course is definitely taking things a little bit slower and structured in a way where you're able to implement them immediately. So it's getting that stage from reading it to implementing it in the quickest way possible so you can get the most results as soon as possible. Hmm. Got it. Uh, guys, just to let you know, uh, I'm going to maybe ask five more questions. I mean, there's like a ton more. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I won't be able to get through all these questions. I, I know people are still asking now. 
Um, the next question is, how do I access all the stuff? Oh, yeah. So, um, of course, if you buy the book or buy the audio book or the accelerator video course, all of this, you'll be, give, you'll be given instant access to it. All it takes is access to the members area. So once you make your purchase for whatever you got, then you'll be able to get an email sent to you. So you will be able to have a login to that members area. And from there, you can download the books, watch the videos, everything. It's all in the members area. Perfect. If I buy the Androgen Accelerator, will I also get the book and will it be you doing the coaching calls? Yes, 100%. So um, the Androgen Accelerator is the peak, like platinum level, the full access to everything, the book, the bonus books, the audio book, the live 12 week course, uh, mastermind, weekly training calls with me. That's the top of the line um, peak buying point that you can get. So you'll get everything with the Android and Accelerator. Okay. And is it a one, one time payment or is it a subscription? Yes. A lot of people think it's subscription. I don't know why, but um, it is a one time payment. You get that. You are able to attend the calls as you wish with me. Those will be going on an ongoing time and uh, you're able to get the most implementable steps for you at a one-time payment. It's, it's that simple. You pay once, you're done. There's no subscription. Easy. Will, uh, I like this one. Will this help me get abs like yours? <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. So like I said earlier, when you optimize your hormones, your body is much more willing to give up things like that excess belly fat. Um, mm -hmm. When you normalize things like estrogen, and normalize or lower things like cortisol because a lot of people have high cortisol consistently throughout the day. But um, I, of course, wrote my six pack shortcuts guide as a bonus book. So if you wanna get started on that right away, then you can start reading that bonus book right away once you access the members area. So hmm. in addition, one of the best things is when you follow the meal plans, you'll feel great as well, of course, you'll have more energy and eating great foods. And what a lot of people don't get is they will just starve themselves and think that's the way to getting a six pack, which it's absolutely not. Your body has to have some kind of comfort in giving away that body fat that is on your belly or wherever your target area is. Um, and of course your body will be able to take fat all over. But once you reach that point where you're able to reveal your six pack, it's a lot more simple and satisfying than a lot of people think. And you won't hmm. be just starving yourself. So you can, uh, not starve and still get the six pack. Sounds amazing, man. Here's a question about, uh, it's probably for uh, someone who might be a bit older, uh, suffering from bedroom performance. It's just, will it help me in the bedroom? Yeah, um, so of course, high testosterone, which is one of the key androgens, of course, this will improve blood flow to all of your organs, including your, your member down there. Um, <laughs> so that absolutely helps people in the bedroom, having that confidence having that dominant masculine kind of impact in the bedroom. I've certainly seen major improvements in that area and so have all my clients. Um, some people that's their first primary goal is actually mm. getting that dominance in the bedroom back and having that blood flow, the erections. Um, all of my older clients, they're doing pretty freaking amazing. Aha, uh -huh. getting that girl satisfied, okay. Um, and this is, uh, let me see if I can ask you more. Probably not, man. It's too many. Okay, guys, this is it. Last question uh, before we, we end this because it's, it's getting insane. Uh, will I have to starve myself or cut out carbs or some shit like that? No. Uh, yeah, so this was kind of like this, a question a little bit earlier ago. But uh, yeah, 100%, no starving. We have the cookbook, which is one of the included bonus books. has all the delicious meals and even like kind of cheat snacks uh, that are super easy to cook, prepare as well. Carbs are actually key for your androgens to build muscle and have great energy. You will need good forms of carbohydrates. So this is one of the reasons why all the other diets fail, while the low carb, the keto, they don't look at carbs in a way that could benefit, so they miss out on it. So if you went to the extreme and tried some of those diets, lost some weight at the start, which was perhaps just water weight, you will feel mm. terrible and you will realize that that diet is not sustainable at some point. So after a while, you'll stop doing it and even start gaining more weight because you went too extreme. You're like just swinging back the other way. But the androgen diet is the total opposite. It's easy, sustainable, and you're able to keep your results all year round. Yeah, man. Um, I'll tell you something. This is uh, unbelievable. I mean, you gave us 50% off. You told us exactly why your diet works. You showed us 
actual proof of everything. So thank you so much, Andre. I, I just want to reiterate to our listeners, those of you who are watching live, you have the link. Those of you who are watching the recording, you have a button, you can click on that. For all of you, there's tons of questions still left. We won't be able to get to those. I apologize, but you can just click on the link, get the Androgen Accelerator. You can ask Coach Andre uh, at the course and, and he's going to answer all of your questions. So, so that's going to be uh, easy for you. Coach, thank you so much. Um, we got to do more of these, man. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, thanks so much for having me. It's been awesome to see a few of the guys in the chat answer your questions. Um, and thanks for putting up with my dog, Piper, of course. Uh, <laughs> definitely saw some, uh, some familiar names out there in the chat. So thank you guys so much for joining. And thanks, Doc Farhan, for having me. I appreciate that, man. Bye, buddy. See you later. Peace.